of course, it's in order to definitely start by wishing you a happy new year right here on the show. It's a brand new day, fresh new start, and of course, a new dispensation for every single one of us out there. And I'm sure that this year will bring nothing but goodness, joy, and everything amazing into your life. And that is definitely coming from the Afia TV family right to your doorstep. You're welcome to the very first edition of Nka, only on Afia TV, broadcasting live from the very beautiful city of Inugu on the SCV254 and Go TV 17 very first edition in the year 2024. I don't know about you, but I'm super excited for the new year. And and of course, I'm expectant also. But there's something that makes me feel sad about holiday season. It goes so fast. I remember when I was counting down till Christmas. It's, Christmas is over. New Year is over. Well, New Year is just beginning. Today is the first day of a new year. But before you know it, it's all in the past. So what I like to say to every single person is, once you have the holidays or your birthday or any remarkable day, try to savor it as much as you can. Try to enjoy it. I mean, because these days go by, if you, if you definitely understand what I'm talking about. Tonight is a special edition. As always, I do have a rather fantastic guest who I will be introducing in just a bit, little bit, which is why you don't need to go anywhere. Nka, we'll be right back. Welcome back to the show, Nka Omdi on Afia TV. I am Jumai Bulama Ashebu. Yes, pleased to be here in a brand new year. Of course, I need to really um, work on saying 2024, not 2023, because I was writing something today and I put 2023. I was like, no, it's 2024 now. So to so all of you who make the same music like I do, please. Note, it's 2024 and it's definitely a new time. Well, joining me tonight is an amazing star. Of course, if you did attend this year's Roadblock, you must have been blown away by this guy's performance. I mean, he was so remarkable and we definitely needed to have him right here. I'm talking about no other than the one and only Achikolo Kruna. Boka. <laughs> Thank you. Good evening. Thank you, Thank you so Good much evening. for joining us. <laughs> Thank you. It was a pleasure to have you. You're welcome. All right, so it's important for us to start off from what your expectations are for the new year. Um, mm -hmm. Are we expecting? Of okay. course, I'm sure you definitely talk about your career. Oh, well, yeah. I always ask about children and marriages. Well, you artists tend to run away from children <laughs> and marriage, but let's start off from your foundation and, of course, okay. uh, what you expect to do differently in the new year. Okay. Mm, my name is Booker. I'm expecting good things, goodies, goodies. this new year. Like, I want to make, I want to make good money. One. I want to build a nice house. Two. I need a good wife. See, I like you. <laughs> three. Resounding three. You didn't talk about calm children down, now. Calm down, calm down. I need a good, nice, a nice home. Like, I want to build a nice home. Four. I want God to bless me Amen. in this life. See, my brother... You see the wife, you see that, 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 that face, that's, that's what people don't know. Even the Bible says that he who findeth a wife findeth, a good thing. you know, and oh, obtain yeah. favor. Mm -hmm. So if you're out there and you're looking to obtain favor this year, think about settling down. <laughs> it'll definitely go well. But I mean, it's definitely nice that you do have this at the back of your mind. And oh, of yeah. course, wishing you well, wishing that all your heart desires are definitely met. Thank you. But now on the show, we usually start off with the foundation of the journey so far. Okay. How has this journey been? That's talking about where you grew up, schools you attended, primary, secondary, and how it led you to doing music. Has music always been a thing you wanted to do for so long? Talk to us a okay. little bit about where you did grow up, primary, secondary schools you attended, and let's talk about how it led you to music. Thank you. Mm, I started from uh, my primary school in uh, Ekulu Primary School. Oh, you grew up in Enugu here? Yeah. Where in Enugu do you grow up? I, I live at a new market, oh. Eva Road. Okay. Okay. From Ekulu Primary School, I left there. I went to Immaculate Heart hmm. to get a good foundation, which God helped me. So, from there, I went to my secondary school, community secondary school, Eva Valley. 
Although then, I wasn't even seeing music as a career. What did you have on your mind then? I'm what was your plan? My plan was just to be growing. I don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> I was confused. Then they were teaching me in the class, but my mind was not there. Well, yeah, was your mind in football? Because, I mean, it's one of yeah, two things. You are if there, your mind was you not in music, there. it would definitely be football. You're right there. I was, I was enjoying the football. Mm. But my parents do not want that for me. Okay. So I kept on moving. When I finished from community secondary school, Eva Valley, it wasn't easy for me. I gained admission in uh, IMT. To study? To study uh, pop admin. There was no money then. Mm. So I had to go and search for work so I can save up and finish my education, of which I have achieved. I'm, I'm so happy. I don't, know what to, I don't know where to start from. I don't know what to do. So I'm did so you happy. finally study the public admin? What, what no, did you finally study? No, I studied marketing last, last. Oh! In that same IMT. Oh my goodness, congratulations. Thank you, ma. I mean, that's definitely remarkable. So you helped to market your music. Oh, yeah. Of course, I mean, there's oh, the business yeah. of music and there's the creative side of music. Oh, so yeah. all goes well. So, or, yeah. when I went to my hometown, Abo, there is these people called Une Kaihe. Hmm. One neck I hear. So, they were motivating people with their plans. So they said, if you can sing and dance and perform well, they will take you out from this country. You will go and perform for them over there. So that was the thing that motivated me to go and sing. So I will play the song here. Hmm. That will be the last song that I will play here. We cannot wait till there is. <laughs> so... I went to my studio, I recorded myself there with my producer, thank God. The song came out and it was a great one. So from there, I now said, whoa, Buka, you can do this. Why not go for this? And I was seeing future, and I was seeing future there. I said, okay, let me go there. Hmm. I hit it once and I achieved something good. <clears throat> they called me. They, they showered me with money, they showered me with prayers, they showered me with their blessings. Mm. Oh my God, I'm so happy. So that was the journey. So I, I'm, I'm now this? working in a Ministry of Culture and Tourism. Right before you talk about uh, w where you worked, which is Ministry of Culture and Tourism, okay. what year was that when, uh, of course, uh, you got a good feedback from these people who showered okay. you love? That was a... Uh, 2021. Okay. Okay. So I started from there, moving, moving. Then I was still working in uh, culture and tourism. Okay. But the work was not serious. I, I'm not enjoying it there, though I'm a dancer there. Oh, in Ministry of Culture and yeah, Tourism. Yeah. So it's not like something that is constant. It's once uh -huh. in a while when there's an event or. Yes. So. So you dance? Well, interesting. Very, very well. What kind of dance do you dance? I dance cultural. I dance hip hop. Okay, so give us, give us something. Okay, what do you want me to step up? Just, just do something. <laughs> I can Pass break it like. <laughs> You're super talented. You're definitely Thank super you. talented right here. Thank you. So, I mean, it's been a wonderful journey so far, and of course, it's important to note that it hasn't been without challenges. Oh yeah. Now, in the course of you doing music, what would you say has been the greatest challenge so far? Money. Hmm. Because without, without money, you are not getting it right. Your producer will disturb you. The people that will come and play the drums for you, they will disturb you for money. All these things is my challenges then. So I'm still facing it. And I know that God will see me through. We believe so too. So We believe so. But what was the feedback like from your family and friends? Because, you know, it's different when someone starts out maybe in a musical family or they know you that you sing from home. And all of a sudden, to just see you, uh, like, instead of hustling or maybe doing business like mm -hmm. they must have imagined, they're seeing you going into music. What was your feedback? What was your reaction like <laughs> at first? Mm, I'm lucky there. My mom was the one giving me the motivation I needed. She was telling me to go ahead, that she's with me, that, that she knows that one day, that I'm going to be there. Ah. So. 
Shout out I to really all our God. mothers. Shout out mm -hmm. to all my our friends. Mothers. All are supportive. Okay. I thank God for that. All right, we do have more to talk about right here on the show, but we'll go for a quick break. When we do come back, more Anunka. Thank you. Welcome back to the show, Nka Only on Afia TV. Many thanks for staying with us. And if you weren't here when I did start off the show, a happy new year to you and yours. Wishing you all the goodness in the world. But remember, we still have a superstar in the building with us, which is Buka. And he has been talking about the journey so far and how he ventured into music. I'm sure there's definitely a lot to learn and, of course, enjoy from this interview. But... It's also a pleasure to still have you. Thank, Thank you so you. much for joining us. Thank you. All right, right before we delve into more, because I'm interested in finding out, out of all the names, why Buka? Because it feels like you got Buka from <laughs> Ebuka, which is your name. <laughs> or is it that you love food? Or it's just... And we'll talk about that in just a bit. But there's something okay. we do on the show where we get to appreciate our guests, make them feel loved, make them oh, feel yeah. appreciated. Right now, I would like us to give Buka a special Nka welcome on the show. Thank you so much. Because what are you expecting? How do you think we want to welcome you? Mm, red wine. It's not only red wine, it's chicken. <laughs> chicken and kwabi. <laughs> there you go. Oh, yeah. That's you on the screen. Yeah, that's me for real. What year was that? And what bitch? That was last year. Oh. Badagwe bitch. Ah, you are having a nice mm. time. Oh, my God. <laughs> With my colleague in office. Oh, Ministry of mm -hmm. Culture and Tourism. Yeah. What year? Mm, 2018. Nice. Wow, lovely At photo. A cool hotel. Mm -hmm. How far back is this photo? I can't remember this. Okay. Okay. That's my office. Mm, okay. Amazing. In my uncle's house. Nice. Where? In my village. Oh, okay. Okay, this was when I shot my first video. Okay. On Malicha. Nice. Thank you. You don't have any bad photos like that, though, <laughs> honestly. Because, I mean, when we do this, we tend to see a lot of people with very <laughs> old throwback photos. But <laughs> it feels like we're not able to get those very old ones. I'm just seeing new, I new, fine God. photos. <laughs> I'm just seeing new, God. new, fine, fine photos here. And I'm like, ah, what's going on? But, of mm. course, uh, what we do with those photos is to remind you of how far you've come, to okay. appreciate you for all the work you're That's doing very nice. and to let you know that we're rooting for you because we know the best is yet to I'm even surprised saying this. <laughs> well, I mean, that's how we surprise our guests on mm, the show. Wow, nice one. All right, now let's talk about your name, Buka. When I think of Buka, I think about food. I'm sorry. Okay. I think about rice. I you love know that, food. Though. You know that rice and that stew mm -hmm. with the beans oh, and yeah. the roundabout <laughs> meat. Those are the things that come to oh, my rishi, mind. Rishi, for you, real. you will know. You know this thing. I love food. So, where did Buka, that name, where did okay. it originate Back from? Back to business. That name, Buka, I was searching and searching and searching and searching. I couldn't find one. I said, my name is Ebuka. Why not go for... Buka, because my mom loved calling me Bukas. Mm. And I said, let me go for Buka. Okay. So from there, I got that name, Buka. I mean. And the name is now moving. It is, though, and will definitely swear. continue to move. I thank God for move. that. Lovely. Super amazing. Now let's talk about the kind of music you do. Okay. Um, one thing I was going to ask is, when you decided to go into music, why did you choose indigenous Igbo music? You could have done any other thing. You could have done any other genre. Why did you choose to stick to the culture? I love my culture. They said culture is the people's way of life. Mm. I love my culture. And I flow very well in using my Igbo language. Mm. So that's uh, cultural vibes give me joy mm. so much. I enjoy it. Okay. And you will see more and more and more. Right. Get ready for Buka. We cannot wait for all you have to <laughs> offer. But now let's talk about uh, the music industry in the Southeast. 
especially as it relates to indigenous music uh what would you say would you say that um we're doing great that's looking at the entertainment industry in the southeast would you say that there's a lot for us to do would you say there's a place where the government can come in to help fast rising artists like yourself to be better what are your thoughts on the entertainment industry right here in the southeast mm. my own is just for me to work hard so that people will know about me mm. to come out with good uh, product when you have a good product people will come for you mm. so it's just left for you to work hard if you know what you're doing keep doing it someday someone will hear you from somewhere mm. Southeast, they are not supportive. I'm sorry to say this. When you say Southeast now, are you saying the whole of Southeast? Are you saying like our community or the entertainment community in general? We have we have top stars, but they are not they are not supporting uh, upcomers. Hmm. I'm not calling names. I would like you to call names. No, no, no. <laughs> ah, <I'm true. laughs> they are not supportive. Yeah. But when you come to Lagos. You meet people, you meet stars, and they are out for you. Mm. They really want to get that something from you. That's something that you have. They need it from you. But from here, no, no, you're on your own, or your state, <laughs> I swear. <laughs> so I'm doing my thing, I'm working hard, I'm praying to God, and someday God will see me through. All right. Now let's talk about your, the process in making music. Everyone's process, creative process, is quite different. Okay. Um, some people write songs from what they see around them. Mm -hmm. Others write songs um, according to how they feel. So what would you say inspires your songwriting <laughs> and creative process when you need to perform, mm -hmm. when you need to produce a song? What are those things you do that helps you get the best of, I mean, the songs that you push out? I have a very big problem there. I don't write my songs. Okay. I can stay here and give it to you, like getting a new song for you right here, right now. Like, I don't write my song. When I, if I should go to studio, I will tell my producer, this is what I want, this is what I want. We'll play the beat. From the beat, the vibe is coming. I'll sing for you. I'll sing with your name. I'll give you that thing you need, the information you want to hear about me or yourself. I'll give it to you right there. Then I'll do my summarizing, correction, everything. I'll finalize. That's me for you. Interesting. I mean, that's... For once, I've never written a song before. That's what you call spontaneous creativity. On the it's spot. God. It's God. <laughs> well, guys, we still have the game segment. And I'm really blown away by Boca. It's not every day you come across someone who is spontaneous in their creativity and of course looking out and send a shout out to the government and well-meaning citizens of the southeast we can definitely come together to help the entertainment industry grow but just like Buka said we need the support of yourself we need to come together to definitely help the fast rising artists to be big and better as it would put the southeast on the map we'll go for another break when we do come back we will be moving on to the game segment don't go anywhere we'll be right back thank you Many thanks for staying with us on Nka Omdi on Afia TV. I am Jumai Bulama Shebu. I still have the superstar Buka right here with us. And of course, just like you heard him say, he is spontaneously creative. And that's exactly what we're looking forward to, to seeing more creative people showcase their talents right here. All right, Buka, are you ready? Start with oh, the game. Yeah. I ask a question or I ask a list of questions. You choose not to answer. You take a sip of my coffee that's in well. front of you. Are we good? I'm good. All right, we're starting from the rapid fire response question. Mm -hmm. And what happens is I ask you some questions, you do not pause, you give me an answer immediately. I okay. give you options. All right. Where is the best place to live in the South? Is Enugu or Owe? Enugu. So you don't pause, you answer me spontaneously, right? Okay. All right. Egusi or Onubu? Onubu. Abacha or Pizza? Abacha. Suit or traditional? Traditional. Clubbing or sleeping? Sleeping. Call or text? Text. Meet 30 women or meet 40 women? Meet 30. Mm. Light-skinned women or dark-skinned women? Skin women. 
Which one now? <laughs> <laughs> is that a skin woman? Light skin or dark skin? Light women? skin. Oh, oh, light skin. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Loyalty or respect? Loyalty. All right, let's move on. So, rate from best to worst this artist. Rate from best to the worst this artist. We have Zoro. We have Janka Amarni. We have Pami Udubon. We have Flavor. And we have Ejaik Wamba. Rate from best to worst this artist. Zoro. Janka Amani, Pami Udu Bong, Flavor, and Ejaik Wamba. Mm -hmm. Flavor. Number one. Zoro. Number two. Pami Udu Bong. Number three. Janka Amani. Number four. Ejaik Wamba. Why is Ejaik Wamba the last on your list? If you don't like him, that's the. Is it that you don't like him? I don't, or don't just know. Like, don't do, no, 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 no. Don't do that to me. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. Ejak, don't mind me. He likes you. Ejak, don't mind us. He just that he still puts you on the last sentence, but he likes you. Don't worry. Oh, yeah. All right. Moving on. Let's rate from best to worst as artists. We have Jay Martins. We have Wizboy and Flavor. Okay. Flavor. Number one. Jay Martins. Number two. Wizboy. This boy is looking at you right now. He's yeah, at I you. know. He's looking at you bad eyes. I know. I'm saying that. Really? <laughs> really? All right. Okay. So, very quickly, which would you go for if you were asked to choose? Cola Boys, Cola Piano, or Cases, or Jap Piano? I'm going for Cola Boy. Hmm, why? Care to share some reason why? I love the inspiration of that uh, song. The cola piano. Yeah. Hmm. Compared to the other piano. Mm hmm Mm. I like doing some mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You don't want to say much. It's a mmm. <laughs> it's an example of mmm. You get it. Mmm. Mm. All right. Very, very quickly. Who would you say is your favorite artist in mm -hmm. the whole wide world? Flavor. Flavor. Oh, yeah. All right. Right now, you need to sing Flavor song for 20 seconds. Any of Flavor song. You just let put a mo mo po na mo get chelu godi. Not up to twenty seconds. Not like five seconds now. At least that should be twenty seconds. It's not even. Lord, you are the most high. Hallow be thy name. Mm. Lord, you are the most high. Hallow be thy name. I wake up strong on the Monday. Mm. I go to church. Hey, if you any, you go to church any day. That's all right. <laughs> Thank you so Thank much you. for joining us on this episode of Unka. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is the New Year edition, and it was such a pleasure having you right here. Well, guys, we're not saying goodbye right now, as we will be leaving you with something special. As always, I say to you well to follow us on all our social media platforms at Afia TV Official. And, of course, I keep a date with the beautiful, amazing Grace Ajayi for news tonight by 9 p.m. I am Jumai Bulama Ashebu, leaving you with something special to start off your new year. Don't go anywhere. Unka, it's not yet over.
Money ni fe ti ma ju bani Umi bo kana wa umi mo zulu me ya ko ta no no bani ma ka ne we ni fe ma ko lu mu te ni na ni we ni fe ti ma Hey 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 ya ni ni bo 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 ma o ki bo bo je je fe i bo bo cha le wa i wa
Yeah. 